evening, Bill. Good evening, Paul. Right on time, as usual. Now, you don't suppose I'm going to be late reporting for the dullest job in the world now, do you? <laughs> Anything happening? Yeah, a lot of things. But not around here. I can't figure out why they need anybody to watch this stuff. I don't complain, Paul. At least it's a living. Mm. Not much of a one, but a living. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. Say hello to the missus for me. Sure thing. Another challenge for the Green Hornet, his aide Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. it again. Who's done what again? The Green Hornet. I'll bet my bottom dollar he's the one stole that tank. What use would he have for it? You've always said that that car he has is as formidable as a tank. Sure, but now he has two of them, so he's doubly dangerous. That's the way I'm playing it up in my story. Oh, no, you're not, Mike. We print news, not theories. But th there's a call for you. It's the warden at the penitentiary. Thanks, Miss Case. Look, Britt! No, Mike. N-O. Now, excuse me. Yes, Warden. He does? This afternoon. Yes, I certainly will. Thanks for the call, Warden. 
Cancel all my appointments for today, Miss Case. I have to go to the penitentiary. Brad Devlin wants to see me. The poor man. Three months on death row. And innocent, too. You sure? I know Brad, Miss Case. War hero, successful businessman. He's not the murderer type. I didn't know there was a type. Uh, you might be right. Maybe I'm theorizing. But the investigators that I hired came up with enough evidence to create a reasonable doubt in my mind. I hope they do in the governor's. You said you wanted to see me if, if it's about the appeal. I don't have any answers yet. You still have 48 hours. I know you're doing all you can. It's that thought that's helping me keep my sanity. No, it's uh, something else that bothers me. Oh? It's about that tank that was stolen. I heard about the prison grapevine. What about it? I think I know who did it and why. That's the wildest story I've heard in quite a while. It certainly is. But Bradford Devlin is, is worried about a visit he got from his old crew chief. He swore that he wouldn't allow society to take his former commander's life. That happens two days from now. Well, a plot like that could never work. Yeah, I agree. But Brad seems to think there's a possibility... He said that he and his old tank crew from Korea were as close as any four men could get. They lived, ate, slept together. And fought together. I buy all that, but uh, planning a prison break, using a tank? <laughs> but that's the one weapon those men can use effectively. Fifteen medals of valor among them proves it. Valor is one thing, sheer insanity is another. That's why Brad wants it stopped. He feels that if there's an escape attempt at this time... It'll ruin his chances for pardon. And the new evidence that I gave the governor will be thrown out. You better give me those names again. Let's see. The crew chief, Earl Evans, whereabouts unknown. The gunner was Hollis Silver, also whereabouts unknown. The one possible lead, a man named Edward Carter, communications. He owns a small television repair shop in town. I'll have a pickup order put out on him right away. Now, that's the one thing that Brad doesn't want. He feels if these men get themselves boxed in, they'll fight their way out instinctively. He doesn't want anyone to get hurt. Well, he has no choice in the matter. Yes, he does. And the Green Hornet will see that he gets it. A swap. Swap? Your life or an M3 tank. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know anything about a tank that was stolen last night? What do I want with a tank? I have my belly full of tanks in Korea. Almost cost me my life. I lost a leg. Let me handle it. Mm. Maybe our information was wrong. Sure was. All right. You tell no one of this visit. If you do, we know where to find you. Is that clear? Yeah, you bet.
Yo. There's a truck coming. I think it's Eddie. Well, make sure it is. Yeah. Yeah, Tim. Wait a minute, there's another car. Yeah, I think a car followed him out here. You want me to come down? No, no, you stay put where you are. Keep an eye on our visitors. Smile, act like you're glad to see me. Hi, right, what's wrong? You were followed out here. The Green Hornet. It must be the Green Hornet. He, he came by the shop. Tell me about it inside. Where is it? Stopped by that little oak tree. The tank must be in the barn. What will we do? Let's stay put for a minute, then we'll go ahead on foot. Why don't we blast the barn with our rockets? They wouldn't be much good against a tank. Besides, I promised Devlin no one would get hurt. Look at that. Range? 200 yards. Just 20 yards right. 20 yards right. Keep an eye on them. We're going after them. No, I've lost them. This is far enough. Pull off the road. What did you stop for? We're getting too close to the highway. Besides, that car is too maneuverable. You there in the tank, listen to me. I want to talk to you. Stop firing and listen to me. I have a proposition for you. We've got nothing to talk to you about. Clear out or we'll track in and destroy you. I can make an anonymous phone call from this car. Within 10 minutes, the authorities can have the right equipment here to knock you out. He could do it. I make no deals with the Green Hornet. All he wants to do is talk. I say we meet with him. If we lose the tank now... The skipper goes right down the drain. He's right, Chief. We can't take that chance. You're fools, both of you. All right. We'll meet in the farmhouse. Come in on foot. Keep your hands in plain sight. Pick him up. Bring him in. And since the odds against your success are a thousand to one, I suggest you accept my proposition. Or maybe you can tell us how you know what we had planned. What's the difference? I make it my business to know many things, including the best escape routes from state penitentiary. And you'll use one of them to get the skipper out? In exchange for the tank, I have plans for it. No. We're the ones who have to do it. Even if you fail? If the skipper gets it, we go with him. It's always been that way. 
Your loyalty touches me. None of us would be here if it weren't for Captain Devlin. Now, he saved our lives three times. Now, he's got more guts than all of us put together. Then you're not just doing this because you believe he's innocent. The man he killed deserved killing. The general? General? <laughs> he was no more a general than I am. That chicken livered coward cost Junior here his leg. And then he wrote a book. His war memoirs, he called them. Full of lies. He made himself a hero and branded the skipper and all of us cowards. In a lawsuit's the answer, not murder. One of us should have done it. Not Captain Devlin. Isn't it possible one of you did? And what was the reaction? I don't know. But I might have hit a nerve. Evans planned the break, so it might be his way of salving his conscience. Carter lost his leg because the general lost his head in battle. A life for a leg? What about the third man, Silver? Inscrutable. Just might boil hate and never show steam. Thin premises. But premises. What's the next move? It's yours. Mine? I need Bradford Devlin. What for? They'll do anything he says. Even give up the tank. Well, that can't be done. First of all, that's beyond my authority. Devlin's a condemned prisoner with an execution date set. Only the governor could okay that. Then I'll call him. What will you tell him? Introduce yourself as the Green Hornet? He'd never do business with you. Then I have another way. I'm going to keep a rendezvous and recover a tank. Frank, make arrangements for me to borrow Bradford Devlin's voice. tank and meet us halfway. We will, as soon as we know you've got Captain Devlin. Evans, Silver, Carter, do as these men say. He kept his promise and helped me to escape. I'm fine. I'm safe. It's him. Well, it sounds like him. Let's go get him. Not so fast. Show yourself, Captain. Let us see you. All right, Frank, into your act. I don't ever let you talk me into this. Come on, Captain, let us have a good look at you. Wish me luck. Looks like him. Yeah, you can't tell much. No, neither can I. Captain! Let's get a good look at you. He doesn't move a foot until all of you move away from that tank. Now, what do we do now? We can't let the skipper get this close and then lose him. Oh, he's right, Chief. Shut up. Captain, when we were in big trouble at Inchon, we had to leave the tank. We decided on a password. What was it? What do we do now? That's not on the tape. He's back into the car. We said we'd never forget that password, Captain. What was it? We have to stop that tank. How? I'm willing to try it on foot if you are, Kato. I'm not gonna let you do it alone. All right, let's make it a threesome. No, Frank, you have to be our backup. You call for help if we don't make it. Cato, bring along a gas dart just in case. Check. Good luck.
got one shot, Kato. That aperture is pretty small. Make it good. Check it! Please, listen. Now, take it easy. You've got to get the captain out. Tell him he's innocent. We've, we've tried that. He is. I did it. I killed the general. You did? Well, why? It cost me my leg. Made me half a man. And he wrote that book. Is there any proof that you did it? gun that I used was behind the cabinet next to the door in the shop. I tell the captain I'm sorry. I should have said something. Edition. Bradford Devlin released. Former war comrade admits guilt. Thank you, Brad. I had a little help. Mike, I've arranged for you to collaborate on a feature story with Mr. Devlin. My days on death row. I like that. When do we start, Mr. Devlin? In about a week, Mike. I'm off for a vacation. Sunlight and fresh air. Large doses of it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> He's a very lucky man. Very. Sometimes you have to look beyond the headlines for the real story. No? Like this item on page 10. Tank recovered under mysterious circumstances. I bet the Green Hornet was in on that. Maybe, maybe not. For all we know, he might have arranged Brad Devlin's release. Britt Reed, if I didn't know you better, I'd advise you to stay away from cocktail parties. Which reminds me... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mike, if the Green Hornet were ever captured, all the fun would go out of his life. It'd have quite an effect on mine, too, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> 